Today I'm going to talk about how to research your investments on the How the Market Works Quotes tool. If you're already logged into your account, you can reach the Quotes tool by clicking any of these links on the Quotes page. If you're not logged into an account, you'll see this Quotes button on, this, on the right hand side of the page. You can enter any symbol and click the Quotes button to bring up a quote. Once you're on the Quotes page, by default it'll populate this page here. This is the most complete page that we have. It has a a chart which shows by default today's performance, but you can also switch between a five day, one month, three month, and a one year chart. The more is a custom chart, which we have to set any of these fields that you wish. You'll also get all of this quote information here. The last price is the last price it traded in the actual markets. The quotes widget by default has a 15 minute delay and there's no way to change it. So even though it's 11.22 now, this quote is from 11.07 AM. The bid and ask prices are actually what we use when we fill orders. So this might actually be more important than the last price. If the price, if this stock is something that trades a lot in the market, these prices will be very close together. Here you can see it's one cent apart. If there's stocks that don't trade very often in the markets at all, this spread can be very, very high, which means that this last price will probably be not what you actually execute at. The open price is what the market, this stock op opened at this morning and the last trade tells me when the last trade at the market was. Since this is a very common stock, the last trade date is the same time as when I pulled the quote because it's always being traded. All of these other information get more and more useful as you get more um, in-depth in the kinds of research you do, you'll be doing, but I'm just going to skip over most of it for now. Down below you can get some of the most important news for this stock that we've had today. We have two articles at the top from Seeking Alpha just talking about dividend stocks and they mention Coca-Cola in there. And then below we even have a, a, an article just about Coca-Cola from the Business Wire. You can also switch between sector news, which is different kinds of sectors in the actual markets, or topics, which is different kinds of um, market topics that you might be interested in. If you're trying to get some ideas on what to invest in, switching between these sectors and topics is a great place to start. So. Keeping with this same Coca-Cola, I can get more information on this trades page. Again, this is with a 15 minute delay, but it tells me the exact size of every order that's been placed on the actual markets and executed so far today. If you're a more advanced trader, this will become more useful. If you're more basic, just learning and starting out, you probably won't find much information on this page. Charts again, you can get a lot of different information on these charts. You can switch between any time period you want and you can switch between different types of charts as well. Candlestick charts are more common. Area charts and line charts are easier to understand if you're just beginning. The news is the same thing as we had on the previous page but without the quotes on the top. So if you just want pure news, this is where you'd start from. You can also select the time period you want to see the news that you're loading. By default, it's about six months, but you can change that to whatever you'd like. Company information is very useful because it tells you a little about what the, the company is. It's a very short description, so you can get a, a, just a taste right off the bat, but it also gives you the company website and even some of their contact information. One of the nicest things is that it even has some of the sector information and even some of the market capacity of what this company is. So it has all kinds of great things that you might want to know if you're just trying to get more information on the company. You can also get information on the actual shares of the company if you're a more advanced trader or some of their key ratios. All these things are more important the more advanced into trading you get. If you're just starting out, you probably won't really find much useful information on these pages. Here you can access their most recent financial statements, which has their balance sheets, their income statements, and even their cash flow statements. Their corporate filings are everything they filed with the SEC. So here we can see all kinds of different things. If you're taking something like a finance class, this would be a lot more useful. If you're just starting out, most of these statements aren't going to be anything you're interested in. But every time a company is publicly listed, they have to make these filings. You can get a lot of detailed company information by looking through some of these things. Analyst ratings is one of the most useful things you can do if you're trying to decide whether you want to buy it or not. This will give you a consensus rating of all the most po uh, popular stock analysts on the market. They show how it's ranked in the industry, who's saying to do what. So we have four analysts saying it's a strong buy. We have eight saying that it's a 
you should just hold it if you already own it or uh, and one person even saying you should probably start selling it and then here we have even historical price information on this stock so we can select any date range we want we get a full listing of the closing prices if we're looking at more general information we can click this markets tab on markets here we can get more information on the overall markets so we have the nasdaq the s p 500 and even the s p 500 with the uh, toronto T stock exchange composite this gives you charts of what it's been doing. These are end-of-date prices. Down here, we can get more information on the actual market news. Down here, we get more information on even more indices and indices around the world, and even some Forex currency exchange rates. This is specifically indices. This is market movers, which if you're really trying to get some great trade idea of what's really moving the market today, the market movers will give you some of the most uh, the biggest changes on the biggest traded stocks that you can find. So if, you, if you're looking to make the most bang for your buck, this might be a great place to start looking. World markets is not so useful because we only have the United States and Can Canadian stocks, but you can get some idea of what's going on in different markets around the world. ETFs, since we support trading ETFs, this is a great place to look if you want to get some idea of the best and worst performance of ETFs that are trading today. You can see that the, they're usually the triple or double leverage ETFs that are doing the best or the worst because those are the ones that have the most returns for the least investment, but they also carry the most risk. IPOs is if you want to get in right at the start of a company, get in on the excitement, you can see the new IPOs that are coming out recent in the next few days or even today. So I see today we have three new IPOs, two of them are for uh, Blue Ocean Nutrisciences, which is probably just two different symbols of the same company. Forex is if you're if you're trading, for example, on your portfolio, but your contest creator put it in a different currency, this becomes very important. We have all kinds of different currencies listed here, and you can see exactly what they're trading at in relation to the US dollar. And you're also able to just get a quick conversion right here instead of going to somewhere outside of the our site like xe.com. If you want a quick check, this is a great way to start. Here we can even see some of the most important interest rates, like the federal funds rate, the prime lending interest rate, the federal funds discount rate, and a lot of other things that if you're, if you're interested in things like bonds trading or mutual funds, this is a great place to look for a lot of interesting market information. And then right here is one of the most popular features that we have is the calendar. What's going on in the actual markets today? We have corporate actions where you want to see who's going to be making a split or a dividend. You can check out the corporate actions. It'll tell you, and everything we have always executes on the X date. If you have any more questions about the quotes tool or information you can find, you can always contact our support desk by going to the About Us and Contact Us link here.